We do gotta remember, I also now have a heat move for grabbing someone in extreme heat, which is good. Having a heat move just on grabbing someone is very useful. That was useful in uh, Yakuza 0 a lot, so it's nice to ha have that as well. <laughs> just casually bring a broken weapon to the Amon fight. That's what I always do. You saw me fight Amon in Yakuza 0. I prepared for weeks, getting the most overpowered I possibly could, so that the Amon fight in 0 was a fucking cakewalk. <laughs> That's how I do things. Um, did I save at any point? I don't know if I saved. Gotta bring that one seat to Kamiyama I gave you for free because that's the only weapon um, you have. I have other weapons. I have other weapons. I can save your high and Serena. True. True. I can do that. Top quality charcoal. I think I've had that before. I, I, I keep, I now do forget. This is now a safe point for us. And also an opportunity to drop a, sorry, new Serena. <laughs> sorry, new Serena. Always important to say new Serena. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, we got a bunch of shit that we can drop off here that I bought last time. I forgot I had an umbrella. I forgot I had that. Actually, no, keep those ones, no. Why do I ha how did I get so many toughnesses? How did I get so many of them? Oh, probably for random street fights. I'm probably getting a bunch of them from random fucking street fights. What are stats? Wow, we've played this game for almost 50 hours already. Um, I don't like that it has a- it, it marks the number of continues. I don't like that it marks the number of continues. The shame. The shame. The shame of how many times I have died in a fight. I don't- I don't even- I know I've died in this game, I can't remember what fight it was on. Pedestrians knocked down. That's the most important stat of all. How many people can I kick on their ass? How many people have I knocked down? 22. We've knocked 22 people on their ass. Am I a bad person? Am I the villain? Am I the villain? No, someone shot up a tower. I'm not the villain. I'm also not the one threatening an orphanage. I'm not the villain. God, I can't wait until a few days from now when Giri gets added to Smash and Tenkaichi Street becomes um, his stage and it takes place down here and it has walk-offs and you can jump on top of this. You blown up a restaurant yet? I have not. I have held back and I have refrained from blowing up a Chinese restaurant in an extremely racist and evil way. Oh. I've been doing pretty well. I've, had, I've restrained myself from doing that. Hey lady, can you tell me where Dokimoto's clinic's at? Not even a response. Saying the city I remember, or the people for that matter. This guys looking for a moto clinic, huh? All right, we can help you out. You said you're looking for Dokimoto's clinic. That's right. Can you help me? I know where the clinic's at, but what is it you need from him? Well, the doc took um, good care of me in the past. I haven't been in the city in 15 years. I'd like to drop by, say hello. Well, time for the blow up a restaurant sub story. Care you know? This is very unkiryu like. Well, he didn't blow it up. He just let it blow up. It's different. It doesn't count. Think you can take me there? Hell, the city's changed so much, I don't know which way is up. Take him to the clinic or tell him where the clinic's at? Take him there. Take him there. Just follow me. You gonna take me there? Hey, I appreciate that, buddy. Oh my god, he's a person walking and following us. Oh my god. Can I do a hate move with this guy? <laughs> Can I do a hate move with this guy? That'd be hype. That'd be sick. Did, that, did I just say someone say, want a girl on top of you? I thought I read that somewhere. Hi there. Okay, I know, I know what that talking dude was about. Here it is, Emoto Medical Clinic. Really? This place is a whorehouse. Now, not that there's anything wrong with that. The clinic's on the third floor. Come with me. 
<laughs> Even the whole house is medicine themed. Friendship ended with Rikia. Now random sub story. Dude's my best friend. We don't even know his name. Hey, Doc, what's it been? 15 years? Well, if it isn't, talk to me. So you're out of jail now, huh? That's right. Thanks to you. You were Doc. You were right, Doc. It was easy to get out when I learned to keep my head down. Good. Glad to hear that. Doc, the, the a murderer remembers him. Damn, that's nice. What exactly did he get out of? Tells me he was in the Yakuza, and he was thrown in the slammer some 15 years ago for something trivial. Damn, this sounds familiar. <laughs> Got an idea, Kiri. Why don't you show Tatsumi around the city? I bet he hardly recognizes it. Sure. Random dude. Literally treating him like Rikia. It's a deal. I'll show you around. I appreciate that. I don't even know any good places to eat anymore. So long, Doc. Let's go for a few drinks next time, huh? On me. I'll take you up on that. Take care now. Murder isn't exactly trivial. Yeah, but I didn't do it, though. So it's like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Press is always hanging around that bar arena off uh, Tankaiki Street. If you listen on their conversations, you can constantly hear some juicy gossip you can't hear anywhere else. The other day, I heard this amazing story about Minister Suzuki. What kind of story? Yeah. I know that it's for me to say, but if you want to know more, maybe you should stop by Serena yourself. It's on Tankaiki Street. Thanks, I know where Serena is. Also, new Serena! Assholes. Guess I'll take this guy to see Millennium Tower. Oh, I thought... Oh, okay. 15 years... Millennium Tower was here 15 years ago. Millennium Tower was here before Kiryu went to prison, right? Was it? Was Millennium Tower here before Kiryu went to prison? No, it wasn't, was it? No, it was like under construction. And then when Kiryu got out, it was there, right? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. I think it was one of the big landmarks that shocked Kiri when he got out of prison, but it's been so long that I forget it. That was one of the big changes, okay, yeah. Here we are, Millennium Tower. Real colossus, huh? Must have taken a lot to get built. Oh, you have no idea how many people died for this place to be built. Heard a lot of rumors about this place. They say some bad stuff went down here. Understatement of the century! Just now, I heard some people talking about a chopper shooting the hell out of it once. Oh, yeah. There's also been two bombing incidents. Bombings? What's this city coming to? Hey, you got a lot of nerve coming back to this city, old man. And you ain't getting a free pass. Damn it. Get this asshole! This time he's living in a fucking hearse. <laughs> there of with a V. Look, I'm bad at words. <laughs> When does bad stuff not happen at the tower? Like, they really should just burn it down and start over. Okay, the one time I can think of us going to Millennium Tower and nothing bad happened was at the start of this game. We had a shirtless fight with Marjama up there. I think that's the one time something bad didn't happen here, is when Kiryu went and said goodbye to his boyfriend. Beyond that, I think, yeah, every single other time that it's the tower's come up, something bad has happened. Shit, we know you're back in town now. You're gonna pay for this. Boy. Sorry about that. Didn't want to get you involved in all this. It's fine. So where'd you want to go next? Hmm. How about Shangri-La? For all time's sake. Shangri-La. Right. If you're going straight along Taihei Boulevard, there should be a high-class brothel over there. Yeah. Not only did they put the rubble back together, but they filled in the pieces of rubble. It's very impressive. It's very impressive. It only took them like three years, but they finally glued the rubble back together. Now I was just typing on the game, not you. I mean, I guess there is it's still technically a word, but still. Oh! Oh. I thought you were hanging shit on me for being bad at words, because I'm bad at words. But, ah, oh, okay. Alright, here, here, random dude. Here's the brothel. They shut down about four years ago. There was a lot going on here. I heard the train some asshole crash a dump truck in the place. Looks like it's true. What's the point of having a nice building if you can't have any fun in it? That Shangri-La is the best brothel in Kamarocho too. What a disappointment. Hmm, well, sorry. Wait, is it not back in business? Is it not back in business? The rubble's glued together. The lights are on. The business isn't open yet. Damn, they must be doing a lot of internal renovation. Maybe the outside's been fixed, but the inside's still fucked up. Or maybe just being closed for that long, the owners ran out of money, but the city still glued the rubble back together. 
So there's that. It's not. It's just some weird abandoned corner in the um, building in the corner of town. But the lights are on now. I thought that was one of the big deals. Is that, oh my god, Shangri-La's back in business. But I guess not. Thought you might show up here, you horny son of a bitch. It might just be that the K2 version made it really fucked up compared to how it looked in the originals. Okay. Well, just in, in Kiwami 2, the rubble was placed in place and left there. And I found it really fucking funny. Too bad Shangri-La has moved on with that, you old man. I'm out of the business now. I went to the joint and washed my hands of everything. These guys have been after you? Yeah. Some stuff happened before I went to prison. Also sounds familiar. Tell me about it afterwards. Snuff out by these bastards! But aren't the lights on? I thought the lights were on for Shangri-La. The lights are on! The lights are on though! But the lights- oh my god. Oh my god, this one dude! What the fuck is your problem? Jesus! Oh my god! Get out of here, prick! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! God! Yakuza 3 heat moves! Yakuza fucking 3 heat moves! Never underestimate the bot bounce. Oh god. You yeah, know that dude was powerful, but Yakuza 3 heat moves! Not elegant about that, just fucking eat shit, dumbass. God, again. It's amazing that we've gone back several years. It's also a back version of which is also good. Oh, we definitely have to try that at some point. Oh, fuck yes. But you are fresh out of prison. Sorry, I disgraced our boss, but I did my time. My duties as a Yakuza are over once and for all. It's just that easy, huh? Well, that's not enough for what you did. If you're not gonna leave the city alive, then we'll make sure you leave it dead. Cowards. When I was in the Yakuza 15 years ago, there was a big war going on just outside the city. Yeah, that sounds- yeah, that sounds likely. <laughs> I was a big name in the business back then. Had to lead a lot of boys into battle. And then one day, my son was abducted. That day, I abandoned my duty to save my son. Our family ultimately won the war, but we lost a lot of boys out there. All because I wasn't there to lead them. I took responsibility for the war and turned myself in, but the boss cut me off from the family while I was in prison. Only natural, I guess. I disgraced the boss and got my brothers killed. Mm, what hurt? There's one more place I'd like to go. Could you take me to West Park? Homeless gather there. Pretty sure it's to the north. That place is also radically changed. They're building an entire thing on it. They gentrified West Park. Okay. Majima gentrified West Park. <laughs> The lights are on. The lights are on. I really thought it was back in business, but I guess not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, it's just seeing it put back together and the lights are on. I just assumed Shangri-La had come back in business. Like, it's been enough years since, um, Kwame won that Shangri-La's come back, but I guess not. Okay. That's, that's a surprise to me. Damn, Marshmallow really did ruin that business permanently, didn't he? I'm not here to question Kamarucha's city power plan. To be fair, we, we do know, we know verifiably, factually true that the way they use power in Kamarocho and the way the system's set up is clearly fucked because Tachibana has a stand power that just does this and wipes out the entire city. Like, we know that the power's fucked up when Tachibana does that and says, right now I can only last 10 seconds. Like, we know shit's fucked. This is West Park? What the hell happened to it? Where's all the homeless in their big old tent community? A building called Kamarocha Hills should have gone up here by now, but it's still a vacant lot. This is where I met my boss for the first time. But the place I used to know is gone now. Oh my god. Boss! It's been a while, Tatsumi. What are you doing here, boss? Heard from the young bucks that you were back in town. I had a feeling you'd stop by West Park sooner or later. You been using the family to get revenge on me? Is that what this is all about? Not even close. You and I live in different worlds now, Tatsumi. After you went to prison, I cut you off from the family. Officially and personally. You got no place in Kamarocho now. Even though I forgave you for the past, we still got plenty of boys who want you dead in the ground. No compromises. 
And I ain't got enough power to calm them all down by myself. So get the hell out. Don't ever show your face in this city again. Yeah. Because that's the only solution. Well, Kiri can beat him up. Well, Kiri can beat him up. Hey, boss. Can I ask you one more thing? What? My son. What happened with my son? Don't worry about that. He's living safe and sound with his mother. Way out in touch you. You tell him? We told him you're dead. Jesus Christ. He thinks I'm dead, huh? Yeah, that's... I guess that's for the best. I'm out of here, boss. Take care of yourself. Talk to me. Thank you. Jesus. Not the happiest ending to a sub story, but I guess that's kind of... Yeah, that's Yakuza 3 for you. Not all these sub stories have great endings. Thanks for looking after Tatsumi for me. He's a little token of my appreciation. Would have come in handy for a guy like you. A blood brooch! This deep crimson rendered appearance reminds me of a blood clot. I don't want to hold on to that, bye. He's a really good man. Not cut for this business. A guy like him belongs on the straight and narrow. Talk to me, his boss seems to respect what kind of guy he is. Beating these guys up wouldn't do any good. Like he said, he can't stop all his underlings from being pissed off. I mean, yeah, if that, if that many of his underlings died, then yeah, there's not much you can do about it. We can still beat him up for the satisfaction, but you know, yeah. guess it wouldn't solve the problem. He's scared. <laughs> if you don't want to die, then pay up. What's going on here? Oh! Oh, I forgot this was where the Hitman mission was, isn't it? Whoopsies! <laughs> MB, it's fine. Oh, hey, Hitman. Yeah, I forgot this dude was here. I thought it was just some random, like, oh, learn about the city by the people around talking. No, it's actually one of this, isn't it? <laughs> Have mercy, I didn't do anything to you. Sorry, but your luck ran out when you crossed my path. Pay up now if you want to let, if you want me to let you go. Must be the Hitman Kataro. Better put a stop to this before it gets out of hand. What's going on here? Huh? What do you want? You looking for trouble, old man? <laughs> ah! Hey, come back here! Ugh, son of a bitch. Anyway, whatever. Seeing as you crashed my party, I hope you're ready, dickhead. Ready for what? I'm a professional killer. Ain't nobody in the underworld who hasn't heard of me. Uh, actually, I've never heard of you. Ha! <laughs> you must be a civilian, then. What are you, a chef or something? Sure, I dress like one. What chefs have you seen that wear this suit? Does this look like a chef's uniform to you? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. But you got the um, part about me being a professional killer, right? You freaked out yet? Sorry, I don't follow. Just give me your money if you're that scared. That way you can at least make it out with your life intact. Are you listening to a word I'm saying? You're the Reaper Kataro, right? What are you trying to accomplish here? What? How come you know my name? Did I even tell you my name? No, you didn't. Then how'd you know about me? Why are you talking like that now? You alright? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm a killer, so come up some money. Give it up. You're coming with me. Ah! Hold it! Oh my god, it's a chase sequence. Oh my god, chase sequences. Oh my god. Okay. Wasn't expecting chase sequences from this as well. Run! This controller shit's really getting to an issue when it's struggling to hold it on these as well. I do remember this happening in the chase sequences before. I thought it was because I was taking corners or some shit. Okay, if that's gonna- if this is gonna happen in chase sequences, I need to fix this. Because this can make chase- certain chase fights probably unwinnable. Fortunately, this dude seems to be a bitch, but oh- OH MY- OH MY GOD! OH MY GOD! I swear to god, I swear to fucking god. There we go. This needs to be fixed, and it needs to be fixed before the next time I play Yakuza. Because that should not be fucking happening. Why are you after me? Just calm down and come with me. He's not Mr. Try and Flee Me. Fortunately not. You a cop or something? I'm with the Honest Living Association. HLA? You mean that job placement center? More or less. Those guys? The hell do they want? We're going after a group of hitmen called the Reapers. You're one of them, right? 
If you know this much, I can't very well just let you take me in, now can I? Yeah, I guess that's how you'd say it. Damn, guess there's only one thing to do then. Die old- Oh, and we're gonna fight him. And we're gonna fight him. And we're gonna fight him and his stun gun. Oh, I hate fighting people with stun guns. Oh, Jesus. Damn it, no. Fine. Guess not everyone can let me do that. Ah, fucking goddammit. <laughs> I hit him with the Kamaki parry. I didn't- I did not mean to hit him with the Kamaki parry. I did absolutely in no cap- whoops. <laughs> did, did I, in no capacity did I mean to hit him with the Kamaki parry. What are you doing? How have I done so little damage to him so far? Jesus. This might call for a weapon. This might call for a weapon. I mean, it worked. It did work. It wasn't intentional, but it worked. Ugh! Nice. I do have a sword. This dude's blocking a sword with his fist. My stun locks now. No. This is one of the most annoying fights we've had in this in this game so far. And that is saying something considering fights we've had in this game so far. That pissed me off. Fuck you. Fuck you. An enemy with a stun gun is just not fun to fight. Especially when you're not allowed to get more than one hit on people in this game because of their blocking. This is not fun. This is not fun. <laughs> could, um, could try to purposely Kamaki parry. Can I Kamaki parry the, the stun gun? I thought I Kamaki married one of his other attacks. can do this. Sun guns really worst weapon, so it's not even um, directly counted as melee or um, that's you don't get defense bonus. It might be better if you have the electric shot, but who, um, who has that on them? That's awfully specific. Does the Kamaki parry work on the sun attack? I thought it was a different attack I did it on, but hey. Oh, it does! Okay, that's the idea. Okay, Kamaki parry. Kamaki parry. Kamaki parry works on sun gun. Okay, okay. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, it does. Okay. Okay, that makes a lot more sense then. This makes a lot more sense if that's an option. Yeah, if you, if you can, yeah, if you can Kamaki parry that, then that makes a lot more sense. We. <laughs> I think the parry works on almost everything way more than Tiger Drop at least, and it's got a wider window. It might be something I should use a lot more in this game. Because in previous games, in previous games, the Kamaki parry has very much been a, if you're going to use it, you might as well use Tiger Drop instead. But yeah, it seems to be a lot easier to pull off in this. And if it works on stuff that Tiger Drop doesn't work on, that opens up options. It may be a much more worthwhile technique in this game than what I've given it credit for. I didn't think it'd be much of a fight, but you got some decent moves. Hell yeah, my teacher was a hitman named Descent. Everything, um, everyone knows he's basically a god. Then why do you put on this act and threaten people for pocket change? Can't stomach killing people. Wait, what? I was fine until I left my teacher and joined the family in Kamarocho. Whenever I tried to do my work, I got scared. 
I just couldn't go through with it. Family threw me out and I wound up with nowhere to go. So that's why you're doing petty gigs like this now. Yeah, anyways, it's whatever. I guess I'll let the HLA take me in. I hear they can find me work and stuff. Wait here. What was the other technique that I got from the Kamaki? Um, from Kamaki? There's the parry and the tiger drop. What was the third one? Like, it was the third go-to one, but I forgot what it was. Like, it's the other Kamaki parry, but I forget what that is. The other- I forget what the other parry is. <laughs> that's, the, that's the issue. I remember the circle parry. Oh, while well, guarding! While well, guarding! Sorry, that's it. That's it. Okay. I forgot that- I forgot that it was the guard one. Guarding. You can do it. Okay. I don't know if I've ever used it. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever used that. I should. I should at least see what it does. Katara wants to rehabilitate back into society. For the time being, we can put him in um, to work here as an assistant. But first, he's got to learn about manners. Kiryu-san. Well done. Here is your reward. We appreciate your hard work. 70,000 yen. Please come back again. We're counting on you. I might as well accept the other one while I'm here. Might as well accept the other one here. Supposedly we're breaking um, enemy combos. Situational, but useful. Well, if I'm just blocking someone's combos infinitely, and I'm- because I'm already blocking, I can't, like, do the Kamaki parry or tiger drop. It would be useful in those. I should learn how to use it. Oh my god, they added a lot more. <laughs> they added a lot more. Okay, there's one that's a, a couple, but Ulrax Hatsutani's the next one. Does not carry weapons. Sighted at Public Park 3. See, I told you this shit at Public Park 3. Your target is, um, Hitman is Old Rags Hatsutani. Despite his lucrative Hitman career, his appearance leads those around him to think he's destitute and poor. We received the tip that he has a secret meeting with someone at Public Park 3 in Kamarocho, likely to accept a job offer. You must stop this meeting before it is too late. I'll accept. I will accept. Thank you, Kiryu san. We'll do everything in our power to assist you. Good luck. Can I see any of the people in here yet? Can I see the. Can I see. Can I see my work yet? It seems like these prisons are not actually used to show off all your people. No one expects the hobo to be an assassin. Definitely hasn't happened at least three or four times in this franchise. Oh, Katara's there. Hey, you're curious on. They put me to work here for now. So what do I do now? Uh, why don't you gather all these documents together? Sure, no problem. Crumple. Ah, what are you doing? Huh? You want me to gather them together, right? <laughs> and now he's just on the computer. I'll come pick you up. I don't think I spoke to the guitar dude about that hit, man. I don't think I did. Whoopsie doodle. Whoopsie on the poopsie. Alright. So, I think we're at a point where, um... We'll go see Kamaki and his protege and stuff about that. We'll probably call it there. And then next time we'll do some of the fucking shit, oh. piss, dick, fart, hostesses. Oh. Hostesses. Nah. We'll see Kamaki and then hostesses and then we talk to Date. I know the hostess before I move on. End of chapter six, that makes sense. And then we're gonna save the others for probably the end of chapter nine. Or ten. Depending what I'm feeling up to slash when makes sense. But that's the current plan of attack. Because I don't want to do all the hostesses right together at the end. <laughs> I don't know how many chapters the game has. Probably don't want to know because I don't want to know how close I am to the climax of the stories we're going through it. But I think the smallest amount of chapters that any of the games have had so far is like 11 or something. So I think we'll be fine if I do like Chapter 6 and Chapter 9 are like the next hostesses, and then 10 or 11 is like the training one in Okinawa. Or, if we go to Okinawa before then, then we'll do it then. I don't know, I kind of want to save that one for last, but if I can't, then I can't. <laughs> this interrupting my button holding stuff is getting really annoying. It's getting incredibly infuriating. If you just go to Kamaki, he just wants you to find his book by, vis by visiting parks. We were told that the dude is at the gambling den here, at the Dragon Palace. We already found that out. I had to do so, but I'm gonna need your wallet. I mean, taking those hostesses out to eat and they've got expensive taste, you know? You ain't gonna give it to me because I'm gonna work off all that food. You know, when we saw um, Rikia in the children's park before, they said that he was up in the, um, the gambling thing here. <laughs> Oh, there's more people? Okay. 
You're around the corner. How do you count as part of this fight? Sorry. Sorry, I'll stop now. Oh, that wasn't hate. Fuck. Oh, they're tough misses. Fun hate action, that's what the plan is. Oh! Whee! <laughs> nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Sorry, I just had to shaw him a number of times before doing that. Feel like I burned up all his calories and then some. Yeah, you can have this. A Baroque Pearl. I get a lot of those. A lot of people carrying around pearls with them as we go around. Uh, it's either Casino or Gambling Hall. One of the two. I'm gonna say Gambling Hall first. We'll try here. Gambling Hall it is! One day, one day we will learn how to play Hanafuda and stuff like that. One day. Okay, not here. Not here. Maybe it was the other place. Wait! There's a dude right here. <laughs> hey, are you Kamakichi? I miss this dude somehow. What hell do you want? Going to see I'm on a losing streak. I just want to be left alone. You took a book from Master Kamaki's dojo, didn't you? I'm here to get it back. What book? I mean, that dirty old thing? I sold it to a beast who pawned to give me some gambling money. They didn't give me much for it, though. And the money's long gone. You sold it? I better get over there before someone else buys it. I need to go to a beast who pawned and knock a mirror to God damn it, asshole. How dare you? How dare you? I'm now realizing the stream's been going for four hours. I didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, Yakuza. Oh, Yakuza. I legit didn't even realize we had been playing for four hours so far. <laughs> uh, sorry if people wanted to go to bed tonight. Uh, too bad. <laughs> Yakuza streams will never end. I, I, this happens. I, I ended up streaming Deathloop for almost six hours the other day. God, I remember not, it wasn't that long ago that I was saying, there's no way I'll make my all of my regular streams three hours long. No, I'm gonna try and stick to two hours for my regular streams. Three hours is just too long. Like, if I'm trying to do that, like, while working, it's just gonna be too much, and there's no way I'll do it cut to me doing four hour streams and still going. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. I still got a whole five hours until I gotta be up for work. You realize that's bad, right? <laughs> you realize you're waking up in five hours for work and still being awake right now to watch some dickhead waste time on sub stories and combat and like learning and stuff like that. You realize that's bad, right? <laughs> Also, I feel like my definition of what I need to do to complete Yakuza games just keeps extending further and further. Because now it's just, no, all sub-stories isn't enough. All of the combat learning, all of those things, now all of- I must get every ability and learn everything. <laughs> I've had work nights with less sleep. I was about to say, I can't do that anymore. There's no way that I can sleep for that little before work anymore. And then I realized, didn't you, that you're older than me, so I don't know how the fuck you do it. Like, if I have less than four hours, it is really difficult for me to go to work. Sub Hannibal! Welcome to the stream. I'm looking for someone who did a big- who's doing big murders. Have you ever been to Public Park 3? How old do you think I am? You think I hang out at parks? The place is crawling with kids. I wouldn't go near it if you paid me. Are you about Satani? Seems to be operating in the park. How does he do what he can with kids around? Here are you. I'm pretty sure Children's Park 3 is the quite literal exact same park that you were teaching a dominatrix how to be better at her job. I'm pretty sure it's literally that exact same park that you were doing that in. So Kiryu, I don't think you have the room to talk. Welcome to the stream Hannibal for hearing that weird shit. <laughs> He was basically, uh, it was in his 20s. He was basically still a kid. Okay, there's a difference between basically still a kid and still a kid who hangs out at public parks. 
I always fuck up that one. That one seems to require really fast mashing for it to continue working and going. Yo, can I, yo, can I do a hate move of someone into a car? Well, not if I burn through all of the, their health before I get the hate. Wait, can I saw him? Nice. In the car you go! Ugh. <laughs> I forgot I have a taunt. I also forgot I get hate by blocking. Your face is great, man! I'm not even that mad anymore! Take this, a stamina am. Mmm, delicious stamina am. I also remember, I could've got a club Sega at some point in this game. They've actually got unique games now that are only in Yakuza. They're made for Yakuza. I gotta at least try them out longer than two seconds. We'll do that at some point. We'll do that at some point. I'll forget, but we'll do it at some point. <clears throat> Ancient Inkstone. Ooh. I don't know if I have one of those. It's 200,000. I don't know if I'd have that. Unarmed Gion style tome. Ancient unarmed uh, Gion style tome is from the Edo period and was written by Suzaya Monkamaki. Oh, fancy. Fancy. Do I have an ancient ink stone? Did I buy one of those last time I was here? I actually have no memory. I had 200,000. I can afford it. I'll buy it anyways. Hey, weapon modding. Weapon modding. It's all about, it's all about the weapon modding. Oh, nope, no neck cracks. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Sorry, can't help myself. Man, Kiryu was 20 back in Yakuza 0, being naive as hell. And now he's doing all these things, running an orphanage, helping out all these people, helping people save, get out of the Yakuza. I guess this is what you call growing up. All the cool kids into weapon modding these days. I mean, it's also just any, if I see any random bullshit item that exists, it might come in really handy for an item. Like, I didn't know the items that were going to be super useful, and then I made some ass quills out of them, and now they're very useful. Carry you, carry you, carry you, carry you. God, I wish I knew why that was happening. God, I wish I knew why that was happening. Oh. I swear to God, if my PS5 controller is actually, like, on the fritz, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Because it just- it custom painted and unique and everything. I don't want it to fucking already be falling apart after, what, six months, if that? That seems pretty bullshit. Rah! Rah! Alright, here's our plan. Here's our plan. We're gonna use an item to get some hate. Maybe a sticky trigger or something, but it's on everything. But it's on everything. Wait, can you can you still do that in this game? Ah, damn it. Damn it. One of the old Yakuza's, you could do a thing where you could switch how you were holding someone by pressing a button. Lol. Lol. Ah, oh, damn it! You can't use items while you're holding someone. Damn it. Well, if Kamaki parries stuns, then it makes it useful to get, to get behind people to grab him as well anyways. Oh my fault, I'll never do it again. Kamaki Parry may become my new best friend in this game. Kamaki Parry may be one of the best things in this game. If it's that easy to pull off and it sets up opportunities and just stops people attacking me, Kamaki Parry might be the useful thing in this. And that's going to be one hell of an experience. I was going to um, try and get you to Kamaki Knockback. I found the book you wanted. Here you are. Well done, my favorite pupil. I didn't expect you to be able to find it so quickly. Killing with their parry looks brutal. Just a knee into their goddamn sternum. Yeah, you describe them and you just crush their body like a fucking coke can. It's awesome. Let's get right to it then. And continue your training. Sure, I'm ready. 
There are three skills to learn from this book. The techniques of heaven, earth, and man. Alright, be more epic, Kamaki. Jesus. Of particular note is the heaven technique, the most secretive of all. That a master only must convey upon his chosen pupil. Before heaven, we must learn man and earth techniques. First, let's begin with the with man. He's Sounds good. To use the man technique, de definitely, definitely some people who would refer to a man technique as something else, but alright. Your opponent must be armed with a bladed weapon. So I can only use it when someone's coming out with a sword or something. Just so, if you're able to use it successfully, however, you may be able to turn the tables on your opponent. Da, 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 da. Try it on my people over there. I want you to stab his eyes out with his own sword. It would be fucking hype. No wonder they're stunned. You're probably not the wind completely out of their lungs. It makes sense that it's a stunning thing when you see it like that, doesn't it? It makes a lot of sense. Turn about the man's sword coming at you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I appreciate the cross let's play memes that go on my channel. I appreciate it a lot. Especially the ones for the silver case. The ones that only me and Dentral understand because no one else is real enough to watch that series. Actually, Kamaki Parry. The Kamaki Parry was not that in the other games, wasn't it? Kamaki Parry in the other games was just basically spinning them around, wasn't it? I don't remember Kamaki Parry being a knee stab. I thought Kamaki Parry was basically a way to, like, duck beside them and spin them around with their own momentum so you could get behind them. Because I seem to remember, like, there was a heat move in one of the previous games where after you did the Kamaki Parry, you had, like, a split second to do a heat move that required, like, kicking them. It was awesome, and I used it a lot. I think I used that. I think it was Kwame too. But I don't remember the Kamaki Parry before being a knee to the chest. I thought it was more of a spin around thing. It's always been a stun at least, but I don't recall the animations. I know it's always been a stun, because it's useful for setting up, like, stun heat moves. Like, Ultimate Essence in Kwame 2 from memory is a stun, so it's the way that to do that one. But, yeah, I think the animation for it has changed, which is interesting, because Tiger Drop has always been Tiger Drop. Hi, Kiryu-san, please take it easy on me. <laughs> heat gauge, uh, with the heat gauge full for a strangle at the same time the enemy attacks you. Heat gauge full, so a red heat one. Or does it just mean having enough heat? Skill showdown with the hitch gauge full, press triangle at the same time as burn attack to the sword. Swordless Rebirth. What a name. Can I lock on for it? Oh shit. Oh! Okay, okay. Specifically a sword parry. Nice. Astounding! Yes, that was indeed a Kamaki Swordless Rebirth. Use his technique on a sword-wielding opponent to quickly turn the tables on him. Swordless Rebirth. This could be pretty useful. You never know what kind of weapons guys are walking around with nowadays. This game's actually had quite a few people with swords. Kamaki Swordless Rebirth. I have to go on the next techniques. Perhaps you would like to rest a while before you resume your training. Nah, I can keep going. I can take it. Free heat moves for sword dudes is nice. It may... Disarming weapon moves is great. Like, disarming someone with a gun is nice. And stuff like Like, free moves to disarm weapon people is so fucking useful. I love it. Although, that didn't seem to disarm. Although, maybe it just didn't do it for the tutorial. The next technique is of Earth. To execute this technique, you must grab hold of your opponent, then drop him on his head from a height. A Zuna drop? This technique won't do much damage to that proper object to land on. Try dropping on something around knee height for maximum effectiveness. Short objects. That looks to be about the right height. There are limited options here in the dojo. Finding the best place to perform this technique is a critical part of the learning process. Try it against my pupil, as before. Murder this man. An object around knee height. Awfully specific. Awfully specific. <laughs> Awfully specific heat move. <laughs> An object around knee height. Again, very specific. Ooh! Not an Azuna drop, but still badass as fuck. Jesus! Benches and small edges and stuff, yeah. Maybe the fences as well. Although that's probably a different hate move. I think there's already a hate move for that. Astounding. That was perfect Kamaki Bowl Crusher. Few people can remain standing off taking a, a hard hit like that to their head because they're dead. 
neckbend doesn't look pleasant. They are very dead. They are that that is an extremely murdered person. That's a very murdered person. <laughs> Two of the three secret techniques. Never thought you'd learn so fast. It's me. It's all thanks to you and your pupils. I never would have been able to do it by myself. I mean, after all, I can't throw myself onto a bench to murder myself. I need someone else to be at my pawn for that. <laughs> Suppose you're right. I'm quite the impressive teacher, after all. And you're modest, too. Hey, it's no way to talk to your master. <laughs> In any case, only one remains. The heaven technique. Perhaps you'd like to rest before you attempt the master. No! Teach me the world over heaven. Let us move on to your next lesson. Now then, time for you to learn the heaven technique. This has been hyped up. It better be good. <laughs> been looking forward to this one. It's called Kamaki Dragon King Essence. That's a fucking name. That's a fucking name. Can I let me pass on from master to a chosen pupil? I've asked my pupils to leave us alone. Oh, we're gonna have to do it on him. And they're not even allowed to watch. Kamaki Dragon King Essence. Must be performed after using Kamaki Parry. Ah. Here's Heaven Essence. It's a gun. Kamaki Parry. It's a move you perform just as you throws a punch, right? I'm gonna practice using this move in combat for this last uh, lesson. However, I said, I've asked my pupils to step out. Heh. <laughs> I'll be facing you, huh? Haha, <laughs> precisely. Your final opponent will be none other than me. Oh, it's been, oh, it's been a while since we've thrown down with this dude. This dude is a hard fucking fight, usually. Oh, yeah. Show up all the Japanese text on the wall. But I know that I'm not going to hold back. You'll not be able to beat me unless you come at me with all your might. Now let me see you perfect the Kamaki Dragon King essence. Okay. Bare fist perform a Kamaki parry. Enemy attacks with a bare fist. I don't know about that. Approach your unconscious enemy, press triangle form, Kamaki, Dragon King, Essence. Is this Ultimate Essence? Is this Ultimate Essence or is it slightly different? Because I'm pretty sure it required stun in Kiwami 2. I think it required stun in Kiwami 2. Ka Kamaki just likes to throw hands with Kiryu, second only to Majima. Kamiki's, uh, specifically Kamaki Paris stun, not just other types of stun. Okay. Okay. It's better Ultimate Essence. Don't... Please, I can only be so hard. <laughs> You're not gonna punch me, are you? Hit me! Hit me! Come on, Gage! Oh, okay. Kamaki got them dodges. Yeah, this is the Kamaki I fucking know in fights. This is Kamaki I know. Does he not attack you unless you attack? What did you even try to do there? Like the cooldown on my attack is too short for some of these. You bitch. I'd be able to actually compete against this if I wasn't trying to do a specific kind of move. Legit one strongest dudes in the series. The villains are lucky he stays out of the main plot. He is like the person who can go the most toe to toe with Kiryu, even more than Majima. Even more than Majima, by far. Like he's literally the person who teaches Kiryu how to fight. And he can go toe to toe with Kiryu. Kiryu does beat him, but still. Oh my god. They 
They, they want you to fight Kamaki, so they make even the tutorial to beat Kamaki difficult. <laughs> they make even the tutorial difficult. Oh, I think I fucked up. Because he didn't get stunned. Or I knocked him out of the stun with a different attack. There it is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it even gives you that after it. Oh, Jesus. That's Kama That's a Kawami means extreme. I don't know if that's what that says. It made it say dragon. I don't know. Okay, so you gotta wait and then... Oh, Jesus. Kamaki joins the main plot and so does a mon to make it even. <laughs> yeah, but Kamaki's like actually strong as a good fighter. Um, like, Kamaki is a good fighter and knows how to go toe-to-toe -to -toe because he's a good fighter. Amon knows how to cheese, and that's why Amon's a good fighter. <laughs> They're like the total polar opposites. Took a beefy chunk out of his HP, too. I still took up two of them to kill him. <laughs> Amazing. Well done, my prize people. You executed a perfect Kamaki Dragon King essence. So it's not ultimate essence, but it is similar. Woo! I did? Indeed. Why, I was just like looking into a mirror. You moved as fluidly as I did at your young age. Really? It's quite the compliment. Thank you. We're both exhausted, dead on the ground. <laughs> you learned Kamaki Dragon King Essence. Fuck yeah. Well, we now have a way to follow up Kamaki Parry. A thing we have already learned is very good in this game. That's exciting. How many dodges Kamaki do when he was young? <laughs> Considering he just did, I think, eight in a row just then. God damn it. With this, you have learned all the techniques in my book. I have nothing more to teach you, my dearest disciple. You will find it difficult to seek opponents who tr truly challenge you now. But if you do, you must not lose. Remember this, my favorite student, as you are now the successor of the Kamaki school. Don't worry, I won't. That being said, I'm probably not going to actually train anyone in this, and your school will go on never passing on anything. I'm sorry about that. If he's such a powerhouse now, imagine when he was young. Honestly, with the way Kamaki is, Kamaki may be stronger now than when he was younger. <laughs> with the way Kamaki is, this dude doesn't slow down with age. He just keeps gaining more and more experience without the downside of aging, it seems. He may be stronger now than he was younger. <laughs> it's possible. But if he was stronger than this when he was younger, yeah, it's a good fucking thing he's not in the main story. No one would stand a chance. <laughs> it was my pleasure. I should probably get going. Thanks for all the help. I spend most of my time here in the dojo. You may come see me at any time you feel your skills need polishing. But of course, Comrade is a very small town. We may very well run into one another somewhere. Who knows? Glad to see you're still keeping active, old man. See you later. Hell yeah. So if I get to my upgrades... So there's one more Kamaki thing here to learn, but that's probably from leveling, if I had to guess. And yeah, yeah, you need, you need, you need extreme heat for this one, yeah. They send me from Kamaki Barrier. So there's probably one more Kamaki technique to learn from leveling. I think that's the Kamaki um, anti-gun. Oh yeah, that is one of the ones that's currently here, isn't it? Yeah, Kamaki firearm flip. Yeah, it's literally here. Yeah, we haven't done that yet, have we? <laughs> yeah, we do know what it is. All right, straight level. So, because I don't, I'm not gonna strictly do the the next Hitman stuff right now. I think we're calling it there, and then next time we're gonna do a bunch of hostesses. It seems like we're done everything else, except for the hostesses. Or maybe I could take on one more hitman now, just to use my Dragon King essence on someone. I need to get this pent-up rage out of me. So, well, let's go fight this one dude and do a Kamak and, and do a Dragon King essence on someone. I mean, I could do it on this person, but I feel like I need to do it on someone who deserves it a little bit more. 
I feel like it's cruel and unusual punishment to do it on some random fucking straight thug. I feel like that's a bit me. It's always the system with red heat in these games. Well, at least so far in the two games that we've, we've had red heat, it's always a case of as you get more heat, it's harder to get red heat. <laughs> Bye. Please, there, oh. there we go. Also back grab. Also back grab. Good stuff tonight. Got the one sub story that was the biggest issue out of the way. That I'm scared of. Do a Hitman after East host Hostess. That might not be a bad idea. <laughs> that might not be a bad idea. Also the back grab. Also the back grab, yes. If I can get behind someone to grab them, that is. That doesn't seem to be the easiest thing in the world to do. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Okay, in this case, I was actually bumping into people. This dude may actually have a fucking point. I literally went out of my way to bump into as many people as possible while walking along the street. That dude may have a fucking point. Ah, hell yeah. Fuck up, everyone. Fuck you. Oh my god, blocking with, um, blocking can build up your heat to maximum in this game. That feels busted. That feels busted. I blocked while already having, like, full heat, and it gave me up to red heat. I'm pretty sure in previous game, um, blocking with heat can only build you up to the point where you can do a heat move. But fuck, you can build further than that in this. Again, broken as shit. Broken as shit. All right, there's kids here. I've seen, I've seen thugs that we've fought in town wear the same model this kid is wearing. I'm honestly wondering if this model of this kid here is literally an adult model that they've actually just literally shrunk. <laughs> or maybe the boy is the actual fighter that we have to take on. <laughs> maybe the fighter is the assassin. And the teacher said she liked it. She said it looked really good. <laughs> wow, that's great. That's my guy. And you know what else? It looks like the Hitman Hatsutani. Seems pretty close to that kid. Sorry to interrupt. Are you Hatsutani? Uh. Yeah, that's me. You have a minute? I need to talk with this man here. So why don't you head home for today? No, I want to hang out with you. We'll see each other again tomorrow. Go on now. Off you go. Behold, I shrunk myself down to something that can't be done in the- Because that's something that can be done in the Yakuza universe. If we can have- If we can have virtual reality, like, in a brain reality machines to fight people, I think we can have, like, human shrinking technology. That's something we can do. What do you want to talk to me about? You're one of the Reaper Hitmen, aren't you? Old Rags Hasatani. But you know that nickname isn't a good sign, is it? Honest Living Association sent me to come find you. The HLA, I see. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't afford to get caught. I won't go without a fight. There's no need to fight over this. We're just gathering information on the Reapers and we want your help. Look, even now I have my principles. Don't think I'd stoop that low. If you want me to go with you, you'll have to make me. Can be arranged. Fortunately, you're in an unfortunate situation where I have just learned the most ridiculously overpowered cheat you'll ever see in your life. That I'm struggling to pull off right now because I'm an idiot. <laughs> this dude has learned how to overcome the Kamaki parry with, by kicking me as opposed to punching me. Balls! Balls! He literally is the way to overcome the Kamaki parry. How dare you? How dare you? Come on, hit me. Do it! Ah, there it is! There it is! Oh my god, we just both ate chill on the same fucking thing. Ah, that's a nice one! That's a good fucking parry! That is a useful parry! Goddamn Kamaki techniques, you're actually useful! <laughs> wow! 
also very easy to pull off. Oh my god! <laughs> also very fun. <laughs> uh, the universe with Kiri is probably the scariest when finishing for a specific game. Just taunting um, a bounce actor in a certain way. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Yeah, if Kiri's looking to do a specific thing to you, you're fucked. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay. It's alright, we can bl we can block you as a back at people in this game. That being said, he is actually difficult to get the Kamaki parry off on. Because he often opens with kicks. And it doesn't seem like you can Kamaki parry fists. <laughs> that works. Turns out Kamaki techniques are good. I've never, yeah, I've never like noticed a massive use for them, honestly. Outside of Tiger, though, but fuck me, yeah. Pretty good in this case. Um, that being said, the literal thing I came here to practice is the thing I can't do because this motherfucker opens with kicks. So I'll just do this. Ugh! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the knockback parry just al is also another technique that just fucking works. Alright, uh, we're gonna do the head press. It is also another one in this game that just fucking works. Yeah, so all three of Kamaki's base techniques have like very good and different use cases in this game. Like, Kamaki parry is hard on him because he starts with kicks. But because he goes into a kick, into a punch combo, BAM! I also love the way Kiryu does it, like, when he just knocks him back like that. Like, it's just like, BITCH, NO! Even just the pose of it is damn good. Ready to go now? STOP! Leave him alone! Huh? I said leave him alone! Thanks, but I'm okay, see? Really? Really, you don't have to worry. Run along home now. Trying to get you into an honest job. <laughs> nah, he looks pretty fucking dead. <laughs> Who's that kid? We just ran into each other one day. Not sure who he is or where he's from. I have kids myself, you know. A boy and a girl. I bet they're about his size. I bet. So he doesn't know. What do you mean, you bet? Aren't they your kids? In my line of work, I can't be with them, no matter how much I want to be. Friends taking care of him now. See, I'm bitter about that. I used to be in the Yakuza, but my boss blamed me for a mistake he made, and I got kicked out of the family. It's okay, all my in injuries are internal. Thankfully, totally not the worst kind of injury to have. We are getting so many cases in this game of just like Kiryu's actions in the past have ramifications till now. But other people's actions in the past in the Yakuza are causing them problems. And either they've got to deal with it later or it's causing problems with them or they're trying to get out of the Yakuza for it. We're getting a lot of this side content that is clearly meant to be paralleling Kiryu in this game. That's happening a lot more in this game than I think I've ever seen. In terms of just side content lining up with what Kiryu is doing. Like, Yakuza 0 was just wacky shit on all of the sub-stories you could possibly get. 1 was basically just nothing but scams. And 2 had a couple wacky situations with a couple of, like, personal things. Where this is dealing a lot with just, like people's actions in the past, either Kiryu's or other people's, and them having, like, long-term ramifications that they have to deal with. It's almost like Kiryu is trying to move on from his past, but he can't. <laughs> and that they're using sub-stories to actually further explain that or go into that. Which, again, is something that I feel like is unique for this game so far. Like, it's just how many times, like, the, the, obviously, like, the, there's an entire section of sub-story that is dedicated to that. But even that, even that, the amount of stuff that has been in, um, just other sub-stories in this has been that. Weird Considering 2 was the one all about the past mistakes. Yeah. 
Well, like, like two, 2 was about past mistakes, but, like, in a sense that Kiryu feels guilty for what happens. Where this is more so about moving on from it. Like, everything in Guami 2, like, everything in 2 was about Kiryu feeling guilty for it. Like, he felt guilty about what happened with the Jingweon. Like, he was a kid and went to protect his dad. And in and because he did that, he went to Sayama, alright, you're allowed to kill me then. Like, it was him feeling guilty where this is about moving on from it. But I know, this is, I feel like this is the game that's used its side content to, like, go into, like, the idea of its main story the most. Which is kind of interesting. I used to be in the Yakuza, but I was playing for mistake, man, got kicked out. Back then, there wasn't anything like the HLA. I had a hard time trying to find a job, and my wife died from overworking herself. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. I need money to feed my kids. This is the only kind of work I could find. I want to make sure I can send money to them, so I don't spend money on myself or clothes or weapons. Hence the name, Old Rags Hasatan. Part of the reason I joined the Reapers was because I was angry about getting blamed for something I didn't do. But mostly, it was because the Reapers took care of me financially. I'm betting your kids don't know you're in this line of work. There's no way I could tell them, but I need the money. If I have to get blood on my hands to feed my children, then so be it. That's what you say. But what if you get caught? What? If you keep this up and get arrested, what's going to happen to your kids? And how would you be able to keep them from finding out? You're right, but it's not too late. You can try to find an honest job again. The HLA and Ibuki can definitely help you out now. Nothing's ever that easy. Things have changed since you were kicked out of your family. Don't you think it's worth another try? I think you're right. I'll give it another shot. You've opened my eyes. Thank you. This is also a case of Kiryu beating the shit out of people who want him dead. And him turning their life around afterwards. <laughs> Which is nice to see. Boogie sounds waiting for you at the headquarters. I'll accompany you there. Yay. Great work. I'm glad you're okay, Buster Wolf. The HLA will provide Hasatani's children with financial assistance. We'd like to help him find some decent work and get him back to living with his children as soon as possible. Kiryu san, well done. Here's your reward 80,000 yen. I've almost made all that money that I spent on that ink stone that I don't know if I need. I might as well accept the next one while I'm here. I'm not going to do it now, but I might as well accept it while I'm here. Mr. and Mrs. Odagiri. Work as a duo, rumored to be armed with guns. Sided at Mark Ball and Kamarato. Your targets are Mr. and Mrs. Odagiri, an assassin duo. Mr. Odagiri wasn't a, a hitman for a Yakuza family. When he joined the Reapers, his wife joined him, and they began working as a team. Oddly, those who were close to Odagiri's, um, to Odagiri claim that he's never been married. I was about to say, there's no way we're gonna have a situation where Kiryu's beating up a woman. So it's definitely, it's definitely not as simple as it seems. To be fair, these are people who are shitty, um, who are lashing out over shitty circumstances. Most of them probably want to be helped. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. That's definitely true. But these are people who have all been put into fucked situations. Usually not their fault. And they've now fallen into awful things. Find it. Something, something, something. The true nature of crime isn't per people's individual personalities. Or people's individual desires. But more so the circumstances that they're forced into. Um, by a lack of support by either people close to them or society at large. It's almost like... It's almost like that's the case. Or something like that. <laughs> it's almost like that. <laughs> Taunting should really give you way more hate than it does. <laughs> Very hard to beat up to uh, extreme heat on random cuts on the street. <laughs> Not what I meant, damn it. Oh, I want to do a Dragon King essence on someone. Fine, I'll do it on Watanabe over here. You have fucked up now. Oh my god, it didn't even give me enough! Oh my god. Oh 
True nature of crime is Kamui Uehara. And his crime virus! Sasanaburi. 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 Do an attack. Hit me with an attack, Cloud Grab, you fucking asshole. Sasanaburi. Sasanaburi, motherfucker! Sasanaburi! Sasanaburi! There we go. Here we go! Very dead man right there. Very dead man right there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, Stamina and Royale for it. Nice. Alright. Well, we're gonna save it, and we're gonna end it there after playing Yakuza for way longer than I expected. But hey, that's how it be. Sometimes you just get into it, and you accidentally restream for almost five hours, as opposed to the three you were actually going to do. Sometimes that just happens. We can't control it. Sometimes that's just how life goes. But anyway, that is it for now. Next time, we're gonna do some more hostesses. So I don't do all of the hostesses at the end of the game. I'm gonna do some now. Kiryu calls his fist concussion and his legs coma. <laughs> See, I call mine eat and shit, so there's that. Watsunabe broke a mirror <laughs> earlier this day. I mean, you have a Kiryu just standing in front of you, Sasuna boring you over and over again, just so he can grab you and hit you with one of the most deadly attacks that a man has ever conceived of. He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that. Random question, how many sub stories have we done now? Oh my god, we've done 75. I feel like this game has been very front loaded with sub stories. There's like 30 left or something. Not like, I think if we don't include the hostess ones, I think there's like 30. <laughs> god damn. And there's obviously still however many Hitman missions are going to be there, but still. But still, that's fine. And like, we're done all the Kamaki training now. Honestly, I think when it comes to the upgrades, like... There's only what? There's ancient techniques, but that's buying books. Uh, revelations. Like, we've got all of Yonashiro, we've got all of Kamaki. So, it's just the IF7 and revelations now. In terms of, like, actual training. We've now done two of them. So, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there with just doing everything in the game that doesn't require uh, perfecting minigames. Because I'm going to complete all of the content, not all the completion list. Because... <laughs> My definition of what counts as a completed Yakuza game keeps expanding. Which is probably not a good thing. But anyway, I'm out of here. Next time is hostess stuff. So until then, this is version 2. Signing out. 100% is never. Not happening. Now.